Alright then, so what am I going to need for this? I'm going to need a compass, pencil, pen, and a straight edge, of course. So I'm going to start off with a circle, obviously. The radius of the compass is 3.3 centimeters. Then I'm going to go straight up, put my compass point on the circle, draw another circle the exact same size. Then I'll connect these two points and draw a line from the top straight through that circle, straight through the middle circle, and then extending to around about where I think another circle would finish. Then I'm going to put my compass point where that line crosses the circle and draw another circle. So because it's an octagram, obviously I need to divide it into four and then eight. So I'm going to use the seed of life. I'm going to make it symmetrical just because I, I like symmetry. Yeah, I'm going to use the Seed of Life to divide it into four. So if you imagine these circles went all the way around, it would be the Seed of Life. And then I'll connect these points through the middle. And there we go, it's divided into four. And I can now use these points to draw two more circles on the left and right. So that's divided into four. So now we need to divide it into eight, and I'll do that by connecting these points where the circles cross. And now I can use these intersections where the line crosses the middle circle. I'm gonna draw four more circles. Cool. I don't know if this symbol's got a name. Is it like the, it's very similar to the seed of life, isn't it? So now basically all I gotta do is connect these points where the circles cross on the outside. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I connect them, should have an octogram, an eight pointed star. Alright, there it is. So you see how this cuts through this point and then it also cuts through this intersection where like this petal reaches out to. Everything is connected. Pretty cool. Huh? And now what I'm going to do to make it like a knotted octogram, I'm going to connect these two intersections. So this one here and then it's mirroring one on the other side. And I'm just going to extend it past the circles because it's going to go like this. So I'll do the same here. So you can start there. And then you can kind of see how far out you've got to go. You just make sure you go a little bit further. And I'm just going to work my way around doing the same thing. There we go, we've got this knotted octagram going on now. Just going to rub out a few lines here and there to tidy it up a bit. All right then, let's get the pen out. And the tricky part here is going to be making sure everything overlaps where it's supposed to overlap. So I'm going to have to concentrate quite a bit for this. Ruler or no ruler? I'm going to go with no ruler. Let's just see how straight I can get these lines. All right, so the first one is going to be overlapping. It's going to go over and then under. It's always over under obviously over under over under all right let's do this over under so we skip this part of it and then this one is going to go over and it will stop when it gets to this vertical line Then just finish it off. Cool beans. So now I just need to do the exact same thing that I just did. Go over the first one, under the second one, over the third one, and then under the fourth one. Do that on every single line. This is gonna test my straight line drawing abilities because I gotta go weird angles. Over, under. But look, it gets easier because I can see exactly where it has to overlap. Ooh. 
Oof. Now that is satisfying. 